Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Cloud South Africa Demo Center. Today, I will show you how to use Huawei Cloud services like ECS, IMS, ELB, CES and achieve high availability and scalability. Now, let's set up this from scratch. Here is the solution design. We will set up an elastic load balancer in front of Elastic Cloud Service ECS which will deploy stateless web servers. Both ELB and ECS will periodically send out metrics to Huawei Cloud Monitoring Service which is called Cloud I by a predefined alarm threshold within auto scaling functionality. Cloud I will trigger the alarm to AS by policy definition and AS will deliver scale out or scale in of ECS instances using ECS template and we call it image management service IMS and ELB will monitor ECS status. Let's create the new ECS instance to run Apache HTTP server. Choose building model as paper use and select flavor. Choose the OS version, OS disk and press next. For network, choose VPC and choose a subnet to place the ECS instance. Accordingly, also choose security group which is a virtual firewall on Huawei cloud. No need to assign public IP and click next. Assign an ECS instance name, choose key pair for SSH login and click next. Choose default as enterprise project, double check with agreement and click next. Back to the ECS console to monitor creation status. Wait for a couple of seconds, ECS instance will be ready and we can log into ECS instance via SSH. Install Apache HTTP web server. Test the web server output to make sure it's running. Shut down this ECS instance and prepare to create ECS template. Once we shut down gracefully, click more submenu along the ECS instance and choose manage image slash disk and create image. Here we input the IMS name 
and choose default as enterprise project after click submit and you will see the image creation status click apply ecs server to create a new instance through this template proceed with the same process as before only the os image should be coming from private image not the public ones kindly note that the newly created ecs instance should be in the same vpc and subnet as the previous ecs instance Let's move on to the launch of ELB instance. Select the same VPC and subnet with ECS instance. If not, the VPC should be set up as peer. But we will use the same VPC within this demo. Create a new public IP with bandwidth. Assign a name for the ELB instance and keep default as enterprise project. Click next and press submit. Let's drill down into the newly created instance and create listeners belonging to this ELB instance. Assign a listener name and protocol and click next. Create a new server group which will contain ECS instance that are under control of ELB instance. Choose default load balance algorithm. Input backend ECS instance health check network port. After creating listener, we add the ECS instances into the server group we just created. Start up ECS instance 1. Test website using ELB public IP address. Keep refreshing the website to see the output. Sometimes it directs to server 1 and sometimes to the server 2. Let's create auto scaling group and define policies. First of all, let's create AS configuration, assign AS group instance name and choose the template or image that will be created when triggering auto scale out policy. Make sure they are in the same VPC, subnet, security group with ECS instance 1 and 2 as well as the SSH key.
after creating AS configuration, let's go ahead and create AS group, assign ASG name, input maximum number of ECS instance as required, expected number of instances, and minimum number of instances. Maximum instances defines the maximum number of instances that can be created while scale out happen. Expected instance means that the number of target instances are as expected and minimum instances are the minimum number of instances. Choose AS configuration created just now and select ELB instance. Don't forget to choose instance removal policy when scale in happen. Configure some other properties and click create now. Back to ASG main console. Drill down into the instance and within the instance menu, we add the first two instance into this AS group. Back to overview page and check the status. Go to AS policies menu and create scale in scale out policy assign policy name rule name and how to trigger the alarm After that, you can create another scale-in policy. So the policy will be checking with average of ECS instance CPU usage. When more than 70%, it creates one new ECS instance. When less than 20%, it deletes one existing ECS instance. After finishing all the configuration, let's simulate a high CPU workload into ECS instance. You will see both ECS instance CPU will go up to 99% usage. Check the monitoring statistics until CPU usage up to more than 70%. You can see the new ECS instance is creating by triggering the metrics. Let's test the ELB output. Keep refreshing your website. You will see the traffic is already loaded into the ECS instance 3. Open a new browser to check the new client traffic. It will be directed to instance 3 as instance 1 and 2 are on high workload.
Let's simulate scale in scenario. Downgrade the CPU usage first. Check ASG status. Now you can see that the ECS instance have shrink to two. Let's check ELB output. All the traffic is loaded into instance 1 and instance 2. Let's recap. Huawei Cloud Infrastructure as Service with built-in features will fully cater your business requirements. You can set up a highly available and scalable infrastructure easily. For other features and introductions, please look out for more demo videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.